one of the things I've talked about with the different people on the podcast is, um, you know, people say the cliche thing, the platitudes of like teachers should get paid better than actors and actors and or, or athletes or yeah. whatever it is. Uh, well, no, because part of it is scale. There's an element yeah. of scale here. You know, teacher pay is an issue, but I think about like uh, the 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 jobs and careers in society that seem to pay better seem to be able to be scalable. You can make an app that makes you look fat and bald, and mm -hmm. that could sell a million for it for a dollar. But if you are a great nurse, you're a great firefighter, you're a great teacher, how do you scale that? That's that's one of the biggest questions that I've had for people. I really want to pick your brain on this because let's just say, I don't think I am, but let's just say I am the best teacher in California, best classroom teacher. Okay. Yeah. What does that get me? No, unless I write a book, unless I, you know, do something along those lines that basically take me out of the classroom. Yeah. How do you grow as far as the financial? Because maybe the financial element is something that's keeping people out there. But how do you scale good teaching? That's a really good question. So there's people that can scale. Um, and that's an entrepreneurial question. There's people that are able to scale. Um, you know, and, uh, they're, they're you look at any kind of coach, right? The online coaching business. You look at those kind of things. And there are people that are making a lot of money. Yeah. Um, in online coaching businesses. So you can argue that they are scaling their teaching very, very well. Um, does that mean that they are a good teacher? It does not mean they're a good teacher. It doesn't mean they're not. Um, likewise, you've got teachers working in small private schools, you know, everywhere, and, and they may be phenomenal uh, teachers, right? So it's, a, it's you know, we got two different things here. One, it's how do you, how, how do you make sure you're a good teacher? But two, then how do you scale that? Well, you're not going to scale that in your, in schools. So you're so I mean that's just the the long yeah. and short of it is you're not going to scale that in school. So you've got to take a look at an option outside of your normal conveyor belt schooling system. So the beauty is there's a lot of options. So do you start your own school? That's a really really hard road, but it's a really doable road now. Um, you know, and and hard shouldn't be a deterrent. It just should be an understanding going in. It's still a very doable thing, and there's money to be made there. Um, if you, if you choose to, if you choose to operate it that way, so you can start your own school. Um, there are teachers who are starting their own, you know, homeschool co-ops, uh, and, and charging less than a private school, you know, salary. I don't know how much your school charges, but let's say your school charges, you know, 10 grand a year, 12 grand a year. It's a right? lot. Okay. There you go. So let's say, so no, we'll, no more than that. So, so even if it was, so if you go, Hey, I've got 20 students who really want me to pour into them and they're each going to, um, they're going to just drop down to five grand a year. And I'm yeah. just going to have 20 students. And they're going to pay me five grand directly. Um, well, now you got a six figure salary, just working with 20 individuals and helping them grow. Um, you know, we took, uh, the Apogee strong umbrella and, and we're trying to keep costs super, super, super low for parents. Um, but, you know, for, uh, for 800 bucks, you know, parents can come in and, um, that are, that are home educating and have resources directly from us every single month and have, um, you know, weekly Q and a and have daily videos that are getting sent to them. And the reality is if we can, you know, that's something that we can scale because we can send all that stuff out mass. We can have zoom meetings like this. I could realistically help, you know, a thousand families. Well, if each one of them pays 800 bucks, well, shoot, that's not a, that's not too bad, right? And so yeah. there's other ways to scale it. It's just, what do you, you've got to take a look at that entrepreneurial aspect. What does it mean to be a good educator? And then how do I want to, like, what do I want my actual day-to-day -to, -day to look like? And who does that mean I'm helping? Am I helping the young students directly? Am I helping the parents? Am I like, who is my target? And and because you, you can't make something for everybody, um, that's the surefire way to fail, right? So you figure out who exactly it is you want to help, how exactly you want to help them, then you look for your minimal viable audience in there.